Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we are doing a Hazy Flame revisit because they're pretty much the easiest way to bring out six Xyz monsters. Now I know someone in my comments, I think Amir, wanted Synchro Xyz, but I wanted to just do a simple Hazy revisit with the Xyz, see if a boss monster for Hazy throws them over the edge, even though it's like Hazy is almost entirely boss monsters. Still, these are bigger boss monsters. Leave more to be desired for Xyz monsters, but they're super young, so we're still going to get a bunch in the future, I'm sure. But Hazy, get these monsters out like crazy. Uh, you probably have seen Force Focus at this point. You can target a monster level 5 or higher, an effect monster. Xyz monsters don't count as effect monsters. It's kind of annoying. And then you can na negate the effect of that monster pretty good. Or... We also have Sword Breaker. Once per turn, detach one material, declare a monster type. This card will destroy that card uh, before, no, at the start of the damage step. So, a little bit of removal. It's also 2700, only 1000 defense. Um, new cards we've added to Hazy. We are using Mech Knight Green Horizon if two or more cards are in the same column. So, this is a column, this is a row. And uh, you can special summon him. He's level 6, 2100. Usually super easy to get out if your opponent just sets a monster, sets a back row. He's a special summon. You can also match it with your own back row. The only back row we're using is Flute of Summoning Karibo and 3 Winged Karibos. As means to survive accompanied with Grit. So we're not bricking because you can't brick with all these high level monsters. But if we're bricking, we still have Grit. We still have Winged Karibos to help us survive. And even a few Sphere Boys we had uh, room in for. So obviously with Hazy, Sphinx is still core. Sphinx is how you do all the special summoning, how you get multiple level 6s on the field pretty easy. Pertion also does the same thing. He can special summon 2 if you discard 1 from your hand. Using one copy of Manticore, you'll see Manticore trolling uh, Cyber Dragon players in a couple replays, I think. He's pretty vicious for Cyber Dragon players. You send a fire monster from the field to the grave, and he can't be destroyed this turn. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, it's just new boss monsters for Hazy. You still get in the old Hazy place. Not too, too crazy. Uh, people are using a lot of targeting traps, though. It's interesting to see. Still, they're, they won't get you at a legend or anything like that, so don't go too crazy about them. Maybe once they're stronger, six Xyz monsters, but till then, still pretty basic. So I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing a Zane Truesdale going second. He's full Zane, full Cyber Dragon, so it's probably a safe bet he's Cyber Dragons. We have two Sphere Boys, that's already gonna eat up some Cyber Dragons. Starting with a Core into a Veer. Let's see what else he has. Searches the overflow. Sets three, so his full hand's on the field now. We top deck a Mech Knight. It's a perfect way to start the combo. We're able to special summon him in this column or this column. Even if we had a monster, we could have special summoned him in this column. This is a row, this is a column. So uh, we're able to get out our Pertion. Or what is it? Pertin? I don't know how to say that monster's name. Then we bring out our... Sphinx. Sphinx brings out, uh, or sorry, we bring out Sphinx and Manticore, then Sphinx brings out Cerebrus. He uses his overflow. I chain my Manticore, throw away the Cerebrus. He can only destroy my Sphinx. Manticore still hits him for 2200, and we're still over Rampage Dragon, and we have two Sphere Karibo. So there's really no way this boy's gonna get over us. He starts with the Twin, who would be a good way to get over us if it wasn't for Sphere Karibo. Has another core, searches his Cyberload Fusion, sets the Cyberload Fusion, so we know it's there. And we Sphere Boy the Twin, 2100 over our 2200, we're still gonna get him. Mech Knight, special summon, guys. Two in a column, even if we have a monster, two in a column, we get a special summon the Mech Knight. 2100 once again. Now we could have exceeded, obviously, we could have exceeded into uh, Focus Fire or anything we wanted there. But we really didn't need to. The two swings are more important. He goes into an over dragon, okay? 3200 and 3200 defense. So Sphere Boy alone won't help us. But we already have what we need to get over him. We're going to Xyz summon a number monster. Number 25, Force Focus. 
Use his effect. Now his attack is zero. We could have normal summoned our Wing Karibo, swung into him with the Wing Karibo to destroy the monster, and then we use the Force Focus to finish him. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here's the Cyrus. Not someone you see every day. We'll probably start seeing him more with invoked droids getting popular. Showing him grit. He's using a super serious sleeve of mat over there. So we have our flute and we have Hazy. Our boy passed his turn. We're going to bring out our Wing Karibo. That's a normal summon of a Hazy. Just gotta hit a monster. We don't. We hit a flute. Our sec there are two flute in the deck. We hit one of them. So we don't get to OTK him with our Hazy. Now he's going Luna Lights. Remember, he can't target us with that Crimson Fox. So he's just stuck with Old Fashioned Cat Dancer. Brings out the Crimson Fox again, sends her back, like I said, won't work on us. And we have a Seer Boy to flip him to defense. So now remember, we can normal summon our Cerebrus. We get another Cerebrus, try that again, we go Monster. Pertion, Perton, Perton, however you say that monster. Brings out two of his own. We get to Ixyz summon into Force Focus. Now we get to normal summon our Cerberus. Bring out a Sword Breaker. Now Sword Breaker's effect, now look. This is why we don't want to use Force Focus. You think, well, we could just use Force Focus, negate Cat Dancer, Cat Dancer can be destroyed, but he has a Crimson Fox, so if we targeted him, he would negate the effect. But cannot negate Sword Breaker's effect. So we choose Beast Warrior, swing into the Cat Dancer. He blocks us with one Temperance. Still only one card in his hand. Gonna be really hard for a Luna Light to come back like that. Sets one monster. We get a Mech Knight. Nothing we can do. So we set our Sphere Karimo. Swing to a Crimson Fox. Another Temperance. So literally nothing he can do in a pure top deck mode now. Special Summons White Rabbit. Brings out Dancer. But again, we have our Sword Breaker. We had Force Focus. We could just swing into the Rabbit for lethal even. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are versus Tory Meadows. Going first. No sleeve amount for our girl over there. Two, three Karibos. And a Hazy. Boy summons a bunch of back row. Does not destroy our wing Karibo now. He's Stellar Knights, Settler Knights. So we know those are some counter traps, so we gotta fight him. Like you fight counter traps. So I bring out my Hazy, don't activate my Hazy's effect, swing into him, because he probably has that uh, counter trap where he would throw away the Vega, counter whatever our Hazy did, and destroy us. So we're not going to give him a chance. Now he's going to Altair. Remember, whatever Altair summons can't swing the turn he summons it unless it's a Teller Knight. So he brings out Utopia, realizes he can't swing. We set our boy. Use our Hazy Flame this time, bring out a Cerberus. That's going to be our Force Focus. Swing into the Utopia, he's got a Fiendish Chain, our Force Focus. That's pretty good because he still can't get over it. Even with his Overlay Gain, or no, Overlay Gain does throw him over it by 100. So we're going to hit him with a Sphere Boy. Still in trouble. We have Tribute Fodder for our next Sphinx with that face down Wing Karibo. Now we go into another Force Focus. We're able to swing, but Utopia will stop us. This boy's still hit by Fiendish Chain. He top decks and eventually scoops. Great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing an Akiza. See what she's got for us. We're going second. Using some main characters there. We got a Mech Knight. We got our Flute of Summoning. Now we can set the Flute of Summoning to Special Summon the Mech Knight. He's going to use an immediate Karma Cut. That's okay, we can Normal Summon our Cerberus. He can't be targeted. Hit him for a thousand. He's going to set a monster. We got two Sphere Boys now and our Wing Karibo set. We don't swing into his monster in case it's Shiranui. Now we got Purgeon, Purton. Use him with the Cerberus, since we don't have a fire monster to activate his effect. Good thing we didn't swing and break our grit into that beginning night. And we hit him with the Force Focus. So here he's doing Charge of the Light Brigade, searches the Raiden, milled a Predaplant, 
and a Magicalized Fusion, so this guy's deck's all over the place. Uses Melody to search at Chaos of Ioneer, though. Now he's got a Regeki Break, another monster, Chaos Sorcerer. Now he's gonna bring out Chaos of Ioneer. He banishes mostly Dark, so I'm assuming he's gonna try to destroy our Flute of Summoning. Sadly, he will uh, still destroy the Wing Karibo. But obviously he couldn't attack that turn. We got a Cerberus. Two Sphere Boys, his defense is zero, so with these Sphere Boys, we're still safe, even with just a thousand monster. So we hit him to defense. Food of Summoning, not what we wanted. Finish off that Chaos Dragon. Sets a monster, sets a back row. Cerberus, just two little Cerberus swinging around now over a Jet Synchron. 1,000 more damage, that back row probably targets and can't target our boys. And look at that, more Karibos, so all we did was normal summon some Cerberus. They can't be targeted, he probably had a lot of Karma Cut and stuff like that, Regeki Breaks obviously. And then just hit him with the Sphere Boys, and it works out great, great, great stuff guys. Alright, here's a Zane Truesdale. We're going second, looks like another Cyber Dragon. Who's going to lose to Manticore? This could be the same person honestly, weirdly enough. I don't think so, but uh, goes into a court, goes into a veer. They just had the same sleeve and mat combo. That's a cyber load fusion search. We already have our Mech Knight, and he sets a mod or sets a spell, which means Mech Knight can special summon. Then we tribute our Hazy, throw away another Mech Knight, special summon the Manticore from our hand. He tries to overflow. Manticore chains his effect, now he can't be destroyed by the overflow, and we get to swing into the core, sit on a sphere boy. Now our boy's gonna use his core to special summon a cyber dragon. That brings out a veer. Now even if that cyber dragon swings, we still have him with our sphere boy. He goes into a rampage dragon, thinking he'd probably just be able to swing over our manticore, but obviously we're not gonna let that happen. He goes to battle, but then decides not to and skips. What we had, we had another Cerebrus. We could normal summon him, do an Xyz summon or whatever we needed. We could have just swung with those two. Still had all the options. Um, we could have Xyz into either of our monsters. Probably the Force Focus, though. He's 2800 to match a twin. But yeah, still regular Hazy plays. I love Mech Knight Green. Uh, he's pretty dope in a lot of situations. I, I wanted to use things like, uh, what's that level 6 monster where you take some damage and you special summon him? It's like the two people dancing. Totally forget what it's called, but uh, I was borderline going to use that. There's some other mo normal monsters that can just normal summon at level 6. They're not normal, but uh, you normal summon them and they're level 6 still. Tons of stuff. Back to Hazy's guys. Once we get more Xyz at level 6, they'll be a little better. It is like an inherent boss monster for Hazy though, so it's pretty interesting, and thanks for watching guys.